a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Angela Merkel Angela Dorothea Merkel is a German politician serving as Chancellor of Germany since 2005, and leader of the center-right Christian Democratic Union since 2000. Merkel has been widely described as the de facto leader of the European Union, the most powerful woman in the world, and the leader of the free world. Merkel was born in Hamburg in then West Germany and moved to East Germany as an infant when her father, a Lutheran clergyman, received a pastorate in Perleberg. She obtained a doctorate in quantum chemistry in 1986, and worked as a research scientist until 1989. Merkel entered politics in the wake of the revolutions of 1989, and briefly served as a deputy spokesperson for the first democratically elected East German government headed by Lothar de Maizière in 1990. Following German reunification in 1990, Merkel was elected to the Bundestag for the state of Mecklenburg-Vorpommern, and has been re-elected ever since. As the protégé of Chancellor Helmut Kohl, Merkel was appointed as the Federal Minister for Women and Youth in Kohl's government in 1991, and became the Federal Minister for the Environment, Nature Conservation and Nuclear Safety in 1994. After her party lost the federal election in 1998, Merkel was elected Secretary General of the CDU before becoming the party's first female leader two years later in the aftermath of a donations scandal that toppled Wolfgang Schäuble. Following the 2005 federal election, Merkel was appointed Germany's first female chancellor. At the head of a grand coalition consisting of the CDU, its Bavarian sister party, the Christian Social Union, and the Social Democratic Party of Germany. In the 2009 federal election, the CDU obtained the largest share of the vote and Merkel was able to form a coalition government with the Free Democratic Party. At the 2013 federal election, Merkel's CDU won a landslide victory with 41.5% of the vote and formed a second grand coalition with the SPD, after the FDP lost all of its representation in the Bundestag. In the 2017 federal election the CDU again became the largest party, and she was re-elected to her fourth term on 14 March 2018. In 2007, Merkel was president of the European Council and played a central role in the negotiation of the Treaty of Lisbon and the Berlin Declaration. One of Merkel's consistent priorities has been to strengthen transatlantic economic relations. Merkel played a crucial role in managing the financial crisis at the European and international level, and she has been referred to as the decider in domestic policy, health care reform, problems concerning future energy development and more recently her government's approach to the ongoing migrant crisis have been major issues during her chancellorship. On 26 March 2014, Merkel became the longest-serving incumbent head of government in the European Union and she is currently the senior G7 leader. Background and early life Merkel was born Angela Dorothea Kasner in 1954, in Hamburg, West Germany, the daughter of Horst Kasner, a Lutheran pastor, and a native of Berlin, and his wife Herland, born in 1928 in Danzig, a teacher of English and Latin. She has two younger siblings, Marcus Kasner, a physicist, and Irene Kasner, an occupational therapist. In her childhood and youth, Merkel was known among her peers by the nickname, Cassie, derived from her last name Kasner. Merkel is of German and Polish descent. Her paternal grandfather, Ludwig Kazmierczyk, was a German policeman of Polish ethnicity, who had taken part in Poland's struggle for independence in the early 20th century. He married Merkel's grandmother Margaret, a German from Berlin, and relocated to her hometown where he worked in the police. In 1930, they Germanized the Polish name Kazmierczyk to Kazner. Merkel's maternal grandparents were the Danzig politician Willy Jentsch and Gertrude Elmenay Drange, a daughter of the city clerk of Elbing Emil Drange. Merkel has mentioned her Polish heritage on several occasions, but her Polish roots became better known as a result of a 2013 biography. Religion played a key role in the Kasner family's migration from West Germany to East Germany. Merkel's paternal grandfather was originally Catholic, but the entire family converted to Lutheranism. During the childhood of her father, who later studied Lutheran theology in Heidelberg and Hamburg, in 1954, when Angela was just three months old, her father received a pastorate at the church in Quitzau, which was then in East Germany. 
the family moved to Templin, and Merkel grew up in the countryside 90 kilometers north of East Berlin. In 1968, Merkel joined the Free German Youth, the official communist youth movement sponsored by the ruling Marxist-Leninist Socialist Unity Party of Germany. Membership was nominally voluntary, but those who did not join found it difficult to gain admission to higher education. She did not participate in the secular coming-of-age ceremony Jujandwey, however, which was common in East Germany. Instead, she was confirmed. During this time, she participated in several compulsory courses on Marxism-Leninism with her grades only being regarded as sufficient. Later, at the Academy of Sciences, she became a member of its FDJ secretariat. According to her former colleagues, she openly propagated Marxism as the secretary for agitation and propaganda. However, Merkel has denied this claim and stated that she was secretary for culture, which involved activities like obtaining theater tickets and organizing talks by visiting Soviet authors. She stated, I can only rely on my memory, if something turns out to be different, I can live with that. At school, she learned to speak Russian fluently, and was awarded prizes for her proficiency in Russian and mathematics. Merkel was educated at Karl Marx University, Leipzig, where she studied physics from 1973 to 1978. While a student, she participated in the reconstruction of the ruin of the Moritz based I, a project students initiated to create their own club and recreation facility on campus. Such an initiative was unprecedented in the GDR of that period, and initially resisted by the university. However, with backing of the local leadership of the said party, the project was allowed to proceed. Near the end of her studies, Merkel sought an assistant professorship at an engineering school. As a condition for getting the job, Merkel was told she would need to agree to report on her colleagues to officers of the Ministry for State Security. Merkel declined, using the excuse that she could not keep secrets well enough to be an effective spy. Merkel worked and studied at the Central Institute for Physical Chemistry of the Academy of Sciences in Berlin Adlershof from 1978 to 1990. After being awarded a doctorate for her thesis on quantum chemistry in 1986, she worked as a researcher and published several papers. In 1986 she was able to travel freely to West Germany to attend a congress. She also participated in a multi-week language course in Donetsk. Early political career the fall of the Berlin Wall served as the catalyst for Merkel's political career, although she did not participate in the crowd celebrations the night the wall came down. One month later Merkel became involved in the growing democracy movement, joining the new party Democratic Awakening. Following the first multi-party election in East Germany, she became the deputy spokesperson of the new pre-unification caretaker government under Lothar de Maizière. Merkel had impressed Demasia, with her adept dealing with journalists questioning the role of a party leader, Wolfgang Schnur, as a secret informant for police. In April 1990, Democratic Awakening merged with the East German CDU, which in turn merged with its Western counterpart after reunification. In the German federal election of 1990, the first to be held following reunification, Merkel successfully stood for election to the Bundestag in the parliamentary constituency of Strals und Nordvorpommern Rügen in North Mecklenburg Vorpommern. She has won re election from this constituency at the seven federal elections held since then. Almost immediately following her entry into parliament, Merkel was appointed by Chancellor Helmut Kohl to serve as Minister for Women and Youth in the federal cabinet. In 1994, she was promoted to the position of Minister for the Environment and Nuclear Safety, which gave her greater political visibility and a platform on which to build her personal political career. As one of Kohl's protégés and his youngest cabinet minister, she was frequently referred to by Kohl as Mein Mädchen. Leader of the Opposition After the Kohl government was defeated at the 1998 election, Merkel was appointed Secretary General of the CDU a key position as the party was no longer part of the federal government. Merkel oversaw a string of CDU election victories in six out of seven state elections in 1999, breaking the long-standing SPD Greenhold on the Bundesrat. Following a party funding scandal that compromised many leading figures of the CDU including Kohl himself and his successor as CDU leader, Wolfgang Schäuble Merkel criticized her former mentor publicly and advocated a fresh start for the party without him. She was subsequently elected to replace Schäuble, 
becoming the first female leader of a German party on 10 April 2000. Her election surprised many observers, as her personality offered a contrast to the party she had been elected to lead. Merkel is a centrist Protestant originating from predominantly Protestant northern Germany, while the CDU is a male-dominated, socially conservative party with strongholds in western and southern Germany, and its Bavarian sister party, the CSU, has deep Catholic roots. Following Merkel's election as CDU leader, the CDU was not able to win in subsequent state elections. As early as February 2001 her rival Friedrich Merz had made clear he intended to become Chancellor Gerhard Schröder's main challenger in the 2002 election. Merkel's own ambition to become Chancellor was well known, but she lacked the support of most minister presidents and other grandees within her own party. She was subsequently outmaneuvered politically by CSU leader Edmund Stoiber, to whom she eventually ceded the privilege of challenging Schröder. He went on to squander a large lead in opinion polls to lose the election by a razor-thin margin in an election campaign that was dominated by the Iraq War. While Chancellor Schroeder made clear he would join the war in Iraq, Merkel and the CDU-CSU supported the invasion of Iraq. After Stoiber's defeat in 2002, in addition to her role as CDU leader, Merkel became leader of the opposition in the Bundestag. Friedrich Merz, who had held the post prior to the 2002 election, was eased out to make way for Merkel. Merkel supported a substantial reform agenda for Germany's economic and social system, and was considered more pro-market than her own party. She advocated German labor law changes, specifically removing barriers to laying off employees and increasing the allowed number of work hours in a week. She argued that existing laws made the country less competitive, because companies could not easily control labor costs when business is slow. Merkel argued that Germany should phase out nuclear power less quickly than the Schroeder administration had planned. Merkel advocated a strong transatlantic partnership and German-American friendship. In the spring of 2003, defying strong public opposition, Merkel came out in favor of the U.S. invasion of Iraq, describing it as unavoidable and accusing Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder of anti-Americanism. She criticized the government's support for the accession of Turkey to the European Union and favored a privileged partnership, instead. In doing so, she reflected public opinion that grew more hostile toward Turkish membership of the European Union. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?